A change in the rules for registered sex offenders on Halloween night is creating controversy in a Johnson County community. For years, they were required to post sex offender notices on their doors, but not this year. Fox News Dion Anglin in Alvarado to tell us why. Yeah, that's right. Two nights uh, before trick-or-treaters take to the streets, the, the people here in Alvarado are at odds over this bright yellow sign. Uh, now, with a pending legal battle, it will, as you mentioned, not be required this Halloween at the homes of registered sex offenders. Meantime, as homeowners and families decorate and prepare for Saturday night, a city official explains it to us. There's an ordinance uh, in the city requiring sex offenders to do certain things during Halloween. Well, some provisions of the ordinance are invalid under Texas, the Texas Constitution. This was brought to light after one registered sex offender filed a lawsuit against the city. Now, while the case is pending, the city is not requiring the signs this year. Some tell us they are unhappy and disagree with that. I think it's ridiculous. I mean, they did the crime. They should have to do it. I mean, we have children out here to protect. Who's going to do it? It's our responsibility to do it, isn't it? I mean, it's, it's beyond me that the city would even think about not making them do it. Now, this man, Mike Weeks, is one of about a dozen registered sex offenders in Alvarado City limits. He was sentenced to 10 years probation uh, a few years ago for assaulting a 14-year-old girl. The original ordinance required the sign to be posted on registered sex offenders' homes a day before Halloween and through the holiday um, or face a $2,000 fine. Now, the catch to it all is that cities uh, with uh, 5,000 people or less are uh, restricted as to what they can require of registered sex offenders. That's the latest live here in Alvarado. Clarice, back to you.